Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me for this bonus video for Create a Card Monday. I have to give credit to um, Stamp Fanatics for this really fun project. I saw this um, on Instagram and I just thought it was so cute that I had to show it to you. So what I have here for you is this cute little two by two box that I have decorated with some of the Into the Woods designer series paper. So this is the this is the tiny treat box. So it comes like this. Um, it's a two by two box. And what I've done is I've cut the Into the Woods designer series paper, just taken one of the patterns, and I've cut these uh, squares to one seven eighth by one seven eighth. And if you aren't familiar with with um, the unusual uh, uh, measurements, you know, 5 16 7 8 things like that. I'm going to link a video in the um, video notes of a video that I did last fall uh, showing you on the Stampin' Trimmer all of the more unusual um, measurements, and I'll show you how easy it is to find that um, 7 8 So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just um, put snail on the back of this last panel and adhere it to the box. In this box, uh, you can what you can use it for is um, those fun little votives that you see like at Bath and Body Works and um, just put that in there and just give this as like a host gift if you are going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving or um, as teacher gifts, you know, anything like that. Uh, this is just a really fun little project that you can give. And so you can see how easy it is just to close the bottom of the box. It's very easy. So there you go. You have it all decorated. So this is the front of the box right here with the lid. And what I've already done is made the little embellishment. So I have used the a corny thank you and the uh, accompanying punch, the coordinating punch, to make this cute little uh, embellishment. Now for the thankful, I did have to use the Biddy Banners framelits. Uh, to, uh, I ran that through my Big Shot to um, cut that out. But you can see here that um, you have a lot of different types of tops and then the punch just um, punches that out really easily. And I just did that uh, on Whisper White. So I've got that already made. I'm going to put that right here on the front. All right, let me show you the colors that I did real quick. I forgot to mention that. The top, um, the uh, argyle pattern, this is in rich razzleberry. The body of the acorn is soft suede. And then I used uh, Tangelo Twist uh, to stamp out the thankful. All right, so I am using the Into the Woods 3 8 inch cotton ribbon. And I'm going to... Put that around the bottom. And this, uh, these products are in our holiday catalog. Do that a little bit longer. And I'm going to tie a bow. So like I said, you could put one of those fun little holiday votives, votive candles inside this. Entirely too much ribbon, so I'm going to cut that down. Okay, and then just tie a bow. And you can find the tiny treat boxes. I'll have all of this linked, of course, but those are in our annual catalog on page 151, if you're just wondering where I found those. All right, and then you're just going to trim off the excess ribbon. Just like that. And then I'm just going to put my little acorn right there. And I'm going to use some glue dots. Okay. 
go. Let me put them over here. And there you go. And I just used some glue dots to attach the acorn top to the body of the acorn. And then I just used some dimensionals underneath the thankful just to give that a little bit of dimension. And there you go. Look how cute that is. I just absolutely love these little two by two boxes. Um, you could fit candy in there if you wanted to. Um, like I said, you could do that little votive. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of little, little small trinkets that you could find uh, to put inside these cute little boxes. So I'll bring the card in that I did for um, Create a Card Monday. And just look how cute that little set is. So you could give the card and you could give this um, to the host uh, if you're having uh, if you're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, you could give this as a set uh, for gifts, anything like that. So I hope you loved the projects today. Um, give it a thumbs up um, on my uh, video. Let me know what y'all think. If there's any projects that y'all would like for me, uh, for me to do, just comment below there. Also, I just want to let you know that uh, this is the last week for the October Hostess giveaway. Um, so that's going to end on Saturday, Halloween, which is uh, this Saturday. And for every $25 that you spend in my online store, you get one entry. Uh, we are uh, already, um, somebody has a half off item. Um, it's uh, the the stamp and reward dollars are fabulous. I'm so excited to let that person know um, who it is because they're going to have a lot of fun shopping. And also, uh, I am taking uh, names for my third round of the I Stampin' Club, and I'll link that information below too. Um, but uh, if I can get that started in December, that would be great. So just looking for a few, a few more members uh, to join my third group, which are the Gardenias, I think. Yeah, I've got the Daffodils the peonies already filled, so I'm looking for uh, to fill up the gardenias. So you can find out more information um, on my blog as well. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.